A molar pregnancy occurs in about 1 in 600 pregnancies in Ireland. What happens is that at the time of fertilization or conception, unfortunately the genetics go a little bit wrong. In a normal pregnancy, a woman's egg has 23 chromosomes or bits of genetic material and dad's sperm has the same 23 chromosomes or bits of genetic material. When conception occurs, these two join together and form a cell with 46 chromosomes or bits of genetic material from which a baby develops. Unfortunately, in a molar pregnancy, the genetics, as I mentioned, goes a little bit wrong. In a complete molar pregnancy, for some reason, poorly understood, the genetic material from mom's egg is absent. Fertilization occurs and dad's sperm fertilizes the egg, but unfortunately there are only 23 chromosomes or bit of, bits of genetic material present. Nature knows that there should be 46 chromosomes in the cell, so dad's sperm genetic material is duplicated. Because there is no input from mum into this pregnancy, unfortunately a baby does not develop. But dad's genetics code for development of the placenta or afterbirth. So unfortunately, an abnormal placenta develops inside in the uterus in a complete molar pregnancy. And that's what leads to the clinical scenario that occurs called a complete molar pregnancy. In a partial molar pregnancy, there is genetic material from mum, but an extra sperm fertilizes the egg. So instead of 46 chromosomes, the new conception ends up with 69 chromosomes with the extra set from the dad. Unfortunately, this again is an abnormal conception. There may be early fetal or baby development, but usually these end up as a miscarriage. And when the genetic and uh, tissue is uh, assessed in the laboratory, a diagnosis of a partial molar pregnancy occurs.